On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Now, my peeps, how much I will wake up in the morning here and give thanks and praise for that breath of life, something that I... That's something there. Yeah, man, we have to give thanks and praise to that man. Because in my estimation, in my view, any day above ground is a great day. So we have to give thanks and praise for that. No matter how life I treat with right now, trust me, there is always a spot of light at the end of the tunnel. So we are going to talk about three set of stories. We are going to talk about one we are going to Spanish Town, one we are going over Linstead. And of course, we are going to make a chads further west. We are going to make a brief stop. In a Mantigo Bay, because you know, so we now left out Mantigo Bay out of the news. No day. Then, of course, we are going to traverse further west to the western end of the country. We are going to stop over there in Hanover. We are a big brawl going on, boy. I may mean, tell you, it is really shocking to some of the ones and ones them when time we get down to that story there. Now, over there in Spanish town, I tell you, my peeps, the place around murky away. Four end up get can up. That are the official report. But the streets are say a six. And two end up get clapware. Spread out like a sheet. Ghana shut eye country land. No longer amongst the land that they live in. So we are going to give you the official report first. And then of course we are going to get down into the meat of the matter. Now the police are maintaining a strong presence in the community of 31. That is half St. John's Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Following a fatal knockings and clappings, spater incidents were going over there over the weekend. We are talking about between Sunday to Monday morning early. So the old dirty corner boy them can up slap where a 36 year old woman with them call Shanet White. And man them full up our boyfriend a beer can, but luckily for him, he's still amongst the land of the living. And all of that go on early Monday morning. The attack reportedly happened about 2 a.m. White was pronounced, you know what, at the hospital while her boyfriend, as I said earlier, was admitted in serious but stable condition. So on Sunday night now, the old dirty corner boy them pounced upon two men in the community and opened fire, hitting them all over. The knockings and clappings they reportedly happened about 9.15 p.m. Where 60-year-old electrician Anthony Davis get a portion to can to feed skin and pronounce you know what at the hospital. Same time the other man with the dead the right side of Anthony Davis still the hospital in very serious condition. Now the police has not yet determined the motive for the knockings and clappings. And this is where on the spot news media got drop in. Yeah, man, I make squad of them know a war really take place down there. Now, a resident basically I say the situation is made worse by the lack of street lights in the community. One other resident say what I go on at 31 is scary and 31 is a lane that run off St. John's Road. And over a year now, a constant knockings and clappings and it is only getting worse. The resident went on to say that the police need to step up them game if they are going to put an end to this violence and bring calm to the community. So, boy, so my time in understanding you know. is either we don't want police in the areas or we don't want police in the areas. You know. We don't need to make up on the mind. Because when time can a boy clap on away one by one, we don't want police in there. When time police come in there now and start clap away from either side, we don't vex because one of the gun boy get clap away. Boy, I may tell you, can't please Jamaican people. Now, another resident has say, boy, it is critical that the Jamaica Public Service step up for them game too and fix all of the dysfunctional lights in the community. Another resident went on to say that them spot JPS truck a come through the place more time, but them nah turn on back the light them. So the old dirty corner boy them use the cover of darkness and come and leash the rat for residents of 31. So another source 
also said to on the spot news media. And this is where the seriousness of things come in now. That source stated that that attack on Sunday night where the 60 year old man end up get clapped away was aimed directly at him because him son violate and the man them just come clap with him father for send a strong signal to him. So, make we get into the meat of the matter right now. So, this warrior we are going with 31 lane is between 31 lane and another part where them call Capture Land. Now, a big dance, a big party are going over Capture Land. And the so-called Dan, the head dirty corner boy for 31 lane with them call Wasi. Go so back now and make a step go over the party over Capture Land. Now him there in the party, music a go on beat and you don't know be a niceness a go on. So some step on foot, some push, some something like that end up going over there. And him and some man jump off of a verbal altercation. Him never do nothing more than pop off a strap. I never understand say the man when pop off the strap on is another top man that we him never really to know about. So the man them take that as a serious violation because all oh, you feel left from over 31 lane and come over capture land, come pop off your pie pie. When time he says strapping him, I not talk about him belt, him pull out his waist or something where have a decent magazine stuff up in the belly of the wheel. Ready for clock can, pam boy, billy ass. <laughs> yeah man, me I tell you. So the man them never take kindly to that something there. And the man them say, boy, he have to go shub out and him go so bop and pop off and clap some can and take away him back quick and fast. So the man them say, all right, we not a while him. And the man them just go make a step, well arms up and step go over there and go a theme place of residence. And that is where them see him father, 60 year old electrician Anthony Davis. I make him have it, me I tell you, the man them deal with him father, bilious. Said him father gone and shut eye country land. Then the man them go so bop again and go make a circle pan and nether ends with them no same frequent and a low knockings and clappings. This time the youths them put up a resistance over 31. But anyway, six of them end up get canned. And when the smoke clear and the battle has been won, that is when them find out a 36 year old Shanet White end up get clapped with. And no longer amongst the land of the living. And our boyfriend get a push and a can to fame skin. But because of God's grace and mercies, he's still here with us today. So my peeps, what you see I go on over 31 and capture land. A serious business this. And if the residents and the police no work together in other one year, more loss of life I go happen. Alright? So make we move on over there now to Linstead. Where the police them find a missing girl whilst searching for wanted man, drugs and guns. Boy, may I tell you, another bizarre chain of events, right? Or so. Now, the Linstead police in St. Catherine have made a breakthrough in a case surrounding a female child who has been reported missing. The minor whose identity is being withheld and who is enrolled in a high school was found last week Friday at a residence in Linstead. The police found her during an operation which they were conducting in search of persons suspected of being in possession of illegal firearms and drugs. Now a young adult said to be the child's boyfriend was taken into custody and the police are reportedly searching for two other persons in relation to the minor. It is understood that a woman lives at the premises where the girl was found but she seemingly was not aware that a minor was being harbored there. There is no indication so far that the child was taken to the premises against her will. But in that same breath, a child cannot give consent to no form of adult activities or to live outside of the custody of his or her parents or legal guardian. So a good spot of work right there so by the police them. And that just goes to show that a lot of times we see these missing persons, not all the time, you know, Note, some of the time when you see missing persons put up, some of them like a girl picnic there are just bad them bad. 
But good thing say the police them go to the yard go put on a decent spot of work and find her and she can get to reunite with her family. I just hope that her parents can set her straight right now or else she's going right back there. Boy, me I tell you, them like a pit me a different set of breed me I tell you my peeps. But anyway, make we move on. Well, right now a series of knockings and clappings go on last night. And a little brother will sell clothes downtown Mobile, get dash away in the thing, bilious. Now the picture here, courtesy of It's a Blast. So it is said that this young man here get dash away last night. Wrongfully, that how the streets are say. But of course, we're going to get to the meat of the matter and figure out why the brother here get dash away or was he innocent or not. It is said same sell clothes right side of the Burger King right there so downtown Mobile. And the man them roll up on him bilious and fling him down, send him gone to shut eye country land, no longer amongst the land that live in. And as me say, it's a quick slide through the Mobile there. But of course, you don't know, Mobile can't leave them out at the knockings and clappings. So watch this now, my peeps. The late, great Whitney Houston did a song some time ago. And that song goes as follows. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Quote, yeah man, may I tell you, is a very powerful few words that Whitney Houston used. So since the children are the future and the children in a Jamaica, the masses of the children in a Jamaica are behave in such a fashion. How Jamaica future look to no? Well, from the eyes of Andy Spot News Media, me I gotta talk it as it is. Jamaica future look dark, bulb, broke. Yeah, man, me I tell you, smaddy spread a big blanket over the sun. Total darkness. So right now on your screen is the Hopewell High School over there in Hanover. Now a big brawl going at the high school. First, I'm going to give you the official police report. And then, of course, we're going to get down into the meat of the matter. Now, the police were called to the Hopewell High School in Hanover yesterday to restore calm after rival students, note the term, rival students, faced off, resulting in three being injured. It was reported that three male students, who is from St. James, were spray painting Sparta on a wall when they were confronted by another group of male students affiliated to another gang based in Hanover, intervened. And of course, a big jump off go on. Be a banger and go on right there. So. Stones and weapons were drawn in the confrontation and a big fight broke out. Three students, as I said earlier, was injured in that incident. Now, I could look on the meat of the matter right now. One set were spray painting the word Sparta in the school. Now, from your year, Sparta, you know, sir, we are talking about reputed dance hall entertainer slash gang leader Leroy Russell, otherwise known as Tammy Lee Sparta, in the streets. Now, one of the three young men who were spray painting Sparta on the walls of the school is Tammy Lee Sparta's son. Now, when you see, oh, when time you poison the youths, their mind a certain way. On to see how them behave. Now those three were from St. James, of course. You know, say, Tommy Lee come from Flanka. So we are going to just assume, say, a Flanka youth them. And them go school way all the way in a Hanover over Hopewell. And them down there, a spray paint Sparta badness all over the school. So the other three youth them now, who is said to be affiliated to a rival gang of the Sparta who is based in Hanover. Take them on and I say, yo, or if you come in a man place and I come spray paint the place, them type of way there. That can't go on. And the big brawl broke out. Even the principal had to intervene. And you saw where physical altercation between principal and students and boys and girls and everybody. Big brawl. Go on at the school because one set I try to infiltrate and the other set I said no that can't work yes sir when I have to go back and be with phone thing and a spot around dung yes sir. all right 
So, I have some videos, of course, when I go post on my Instagram. So, you can go over my Instagram page and watch that. Where you will see the full big brawl in full flight, right there, so. But all of this just goes to show the influence that these entertainers also have on the minds of the youths. Not just entertainers, of course, we are talking about dirty corner boy, broad heading. Because you don't know enough of them entertainers, so-called entertainers, so-called producers, or violence producers themselves. So, of course, them fall under the banner of the old dirty corner boy them. But this just goes to show the influence that them have on the minds of the younger ones. Well, Tommy Lee, if you are listening to this, you need for reason with your youth. And make him know, say, the road where you trod, and not the road where you would want him to trod. Because it would have sad if you see you there behind bars and your ear say, your youth did clap with a certain type of way because he might try to push the Sparta thing among his peers in Hanover. And Tamale son, you too, you need to look in yourself. Look where your father is right now. Don't go down that slippery slope there. Because nobody feels say eh, if you come and you play the same stupid games, you're not gonna win the same stupid prizes. And to the other young men them over there in Hopewell and over, we're affiliated with other gangs down there. And the same message on the spot news media I set on the same way. Let go half of the badness type of thing. Because if you no continue down that slippery slope, you know I gonna just end up in that spiral there. And once I get caught and stuck in another loop of badness there, on the end, I got just end up in one or two ways. Six feet under or 35 to life. So the choice is yours. And as me always say, a word to the wise is definitely sufficient. So be wise youths, stay in school and stay out of trouble. Yeah, man. Anyway, remember if you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.